Hello everyone and welcome to Center Stack. In today's video I'm going to show you how to share a file with continue as it is now option checked for a user which will give the user read-only access and how to share the file with the different various settings we have in Center Stack. We're currently logged in as an admin and I'm going to select a file to share with the user who's not in the system. I'm going to select my data file, right click and select share. I'm going to click on invite a user and I'm going to enter an email of a user who's not in the system and enter some notes. Click on continue. Here it says the user currently does not have an account. He or she can still view the shared document. For editing capabilities, the user is required to have a secure account sign in before write permission is given. We're going to keep continue as it is now checked. The user will only be able to have read only access to shared in the web browser. So I'm going to keep that checked and I'm going to click continue. We have quite a few options to specify the expiration time. I'm going to select one month. We have view download only access option, which will give you view and download access. We have view only and download will be disabled. And we also have download only. I'm going to keep view download only access checked. And I'm also going to keep password is needed to access. So I'm going to go ahead and enter the password of my choice and we have these notifications. I'm going to check send email notification when file is downloaded. Click on share and now I'm going to go ahead and log in to the email account of another browser of the user. Access the shared file invitation and you can see the notes there that we added. I'm going to click on the name or you could click on the link. I'm going to click on the name of the file and since it was password protected it says the link you're trying to access is password protected. Please enter the password below. This is what we chose, so we're going to enter the pass the one we had selected and click on open. And as you could see, our file is open in view and we have the download option as well. And you could download it. I'm going to X close the file. I'm going to X out and go back to the portal. I'm going to X out from this shared window. I'm going to go ahead and share another file, which is my IEP file. Right click, select share. I'm going to click on invite a user invite a user who is not in the system using the same user. I'm going to enter some notes. I'm just going to type IEP and select continue. Again, we're going to keep it continue as it is now. And this time I'm going to keep it to view download only access. And instead of password is needed to access, I'm going to select no protection this time to show you how that works. And I'm not going to check any of the notifications and I'm just going to go ahead and click share. I'm going to go ahead and log in from another browser to access the shared file invitation again. And again, you see the notes there. And this time I'm going to click on the link to access the share. And since we selected no password is needed to access the share, it does not ask us to enter the password. It opens up right away. And as you could see, we have view option and we also have the download option available to us. And I'm going to go ahead and close the file. I'm going to go back into the web browser and refresh the page and I want to show you in the right pane where it says shared item you can click on the manage to see the shared items that were shared and this is how you will share a file with the user as continue as it is now with the various settings and center stack thank you